everyone if you're new to the channel you can subscribe to the channel for future updates and guys please visit my website guys you can check the link in the description below and of course i have launched the new instagram account and make sure you follow for more future updates enjoy the solutions hello everyone welcome to this cousin mathematics 2016 part 2 yep that is like a matrices or matrix question and it is known that let i is one zero zero one you know that i is actually an identity matrix okay and o there is a zero matrix so identity matrix is that in the main diagonal it is consists of one so let's say we have a three by three matrix this is also an identity matrix okay because in the main diagonal only consists of one and the rest is zero same as this this is uh, identity matrix for two by two and this is zero matrix all of the element is zero okay so let's go to a to number one let's say the matrix a is one three three five and the matrix b is x three three six and find the value of x that satisfies a times b equals b times a now this is the special identity of matrix is that if you multiply this it doesn't actually exist the commu commutative identity so commutative means if you multiply this and you multiply it by reverse it's actually the same but in matrix it does not apply the commutative rule okay so we have to uh, multiply it manually so We just multiply that so 1 times x plus 3 times 3 is x times 9 right and then 3 plus uh, 18 is 21 3x plus 15 then 9 plus 30 39 this is x plus 9 this is uh, 3x plus 15 3 plus 18 then 9 times 30 9 9 plus 30 okay so in the matrix if you want to make this matrix is equal to this matrix uh, just look at the element so x plus 9 x plus 9 then 21 and 3x plus 15 so x is 2 okay so that is for number 1 now for number 2 for matrix A is 1, 2, 2, 4, and B is minus 2x, 4y, find the value of x and y to satisfy B, A equals O, okay? O, we know that is a zero matrix. So, minus 2x, 4y, 1, 2, 2, 4, equals 0, 0, 0, 0. Remember that B, A, you cannot just put A in front instead of behind this way. Remember, it in matrix, it, it does not apply commutative rule okay so we have to make it this way otherwise the answer is wrong so we uh, multiply it by usual minus 2 plus 2x minus 4 plus 4x 4 plus 2y 8 plus 4y And this we uh, make it same with the, each of the element minus 2 plus 2x and 0 so x is 1 then 4 plus 2y and 0 so y is minus 2 so that is the answer for number 2 and now for number 3 it says that let a satisfy matrix a squared equals a minus i okay and we have to determine a to the power of 15 now this is a unique question because you know we at first i thought that you know a could be taken by this uh, one of this example but looks like three is a uh, number three is like a completely different question okay I, I found a way to do it right so we rearrange that so the identity become in front okay now remember this rule that if you have you know matrix in this kind of equation the determinant 
the determinant of each matrix you could actually make that make it that way right and then the identity is that let me explain to you that if you didn't know what is determinant the determinant of the matrix is ad minus bc so if you have the matrix of a b c d the determinant is ad minus bc and then another piece of that is that a squared uh, let's say we want to find the determinant of that is actually equals to determinant of a squared so we can make that so determinant of i equals determinant of a minus determinant of a squared right and i is one zero zero one the determinant of i is one right because one times one minus zero times zero is one so one equal determinant of a minus determinant of a squared and now we can make minus determinant a squared equals one minus determinant a now this is equation one okay we know we couldn't proceed further because uh, if we actually you know substitute the determinant to become this way we could not actually get the answer because this is a four variable with only one equation it is like impossible to make that become uh, to find the real answer from this from only this equation okay and now let's uh, review this equation again i equals a minus a squared and now this is the first identity that you need to understand right and this one and now another identity remember that any value any matrix for example a any matrix if you multiply it by i this will become that matrix itself so even if it is you know an inverse matrix it is big when we when it's multiplied by i it's also an inverse matrix okay so by that we could actually multiply each of this by inverse matrix okay and now you know that when you multiply it anything by i this will become matrix and remember also if you actually apply this uh, let's say i times a this is also a so basically maybe you know uh, if you multiply the matrix by identity maybe it's actually applied to commutative rule okay so this become that and this is the fourth identity and another identity you should know that a matrix a multiplied by the inverse of the matrix this will become i okay so we got this become i minus uh, a squared is actually also a a okay got that this is i okay and this become that right so from that we got this and now we can actually make that into the determinant Okay. and also remember another identity that the determinant of the inverse of the matrix a is 1 over determinant a okay so 1 over determinant a remember that determinant of i is 1 minus determinant a right so again uh, how to proceed from this that you know that 1 minus determinant a is this one right you got that so let's substitute that with this okay so we got that the last one one min one over determinant a is one minus determinant a okay and from the equation that we got that uh, 1 minus determinant a is minus determinant a squared right we put the minus there minus 1 over determinant a equals minus determinant equals positive right the minus is gone move to there move to that side so minus 1 
is determinant a to the power of 3 okay and now you can actually you know make that to the root of 3 determinant a so determinant a is minus 1 and now for the a to the power of 15 equals what uh, for the a to the power of 15 you could actually use the principle of the determinant determinant a to the power of 15 is determinant a to the power of 15 and you know that determinant a is minus 1 to the power of 15 so this is actually equals to minus 1 and what could and what could we got from this remember that determinant i is 1 right so minus determinant a and minus determinant i is minus 1 so basically a to the power of 15 uh, no determinant a to the power of 15 is actually equals to determinant of minus i therefore a to the power of 15 is minus i or you could say that is minus 1001 or that is also minus 100 minus 1 okay so that is the answer for number 3 you know this is just you know the usage of the principle of determinant and several identity of matrix okay so that's it for part 2 and yeah stay tuned for part 3 thank you for watching <laughs>